All right. Hello, thank you for watching. My idea for this video... Uh, I think I'm lined up better there. <clears throat> came because I told somebody close to me, I can tell you, it was my wife, that I was thinking about making a video about what I'm hoping Donald Trump does and his, uh, the first little short few weeks of his eight-year presidency. <clears throat> and she said, don't say something that will sound racist. She knows I'm not racist, but she's worried about something sounding racist. Uh, don't say this certain thing because some people might think it sounds racist. <clears throat> And that got me thinking, I should do a series of rants about words that have lost their meaning because of overuse and misuse. You know, there's the old story about the boy who cried wolf, he was watching the sheep, thought he'd have fun, you know, wolf, 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 people came, there was no wolf, and he was laughing. Did it a second time, people uh, came. No wolf. There really was a wolf. The third time, this boy in this uh, story yells wolf, and nobody comes because he lied already. They don't want to be lied to again. You know, in that story, the word wolf loses its meaning. It's not that there aren't wolves, but the pe people have been lied to, so that didn't affect them. <clears throat> The word racist and racism have been so overused and misused in the United States of America that anybody with working brain cells now who hears an accusation of racism um, doesn't believe it. <clears throat> We've been lied to so many times about who's racist. If you've got working brain cells, you'll... Wait, nah. Heard that word so many times. <laughs> Probably isn't. Probably isn't what the word really means, that person uh, that's being accused. And a great example of this, Donald Trump was not accused of being a racist until he ran for president. He got oh, an award from Jesse Jackson. He um, had a reality television show, and nobody, you know, uh, witnessed him, uh, there's no hidden camera of him in the, ba in the uh, backstage of that reality show, or getting ready for the reality show, being racist, using racial slurs, or deciding who to fire from the show. Of course, in The Apprentice, there are people that are contestants, and somebody gets fired, uh, you know, I, until there is a winner. And he wasn't firing people because they were black on that show. But now, somehow, uh, we're supposed to believe he's racist because people call him racist now after years of him not being called racist and not exhibiting racism. Every four years, a Republican president is accused of wanting to bring back slavery and lynch black people. But with zero evidence. <clears throat> and people with working brain cells you know, realize, wait, you know, they made this harsh accusation, but there never was actually any video of anybody doing anything racist. And evidence to the contrary, um, when George Bush was governor of a state that has millions of people, there was a murder of a black man, and the murderers got the death penalty, or at least there was, it was more than one person involved, but at least one of those murderers got the death penalty, and George Bush did not lift one little pinky finger to stop that guy from getting the death penalty who committed a lynching. Let's see, death penalty for lynching, that's the opposite of racism. <clears throat> What's ironic about this is the, there actually is some evidence of racism of the people who most often scream racism. Hillary Clinton in emails that WikiLeaks has uh, helped us to find, thank you WikiLeaks, um, referred to Hispanics as needy. Um, Hillary Clinton got on a TV show and thought she was going to get every black person to vote for her by saying, I always walk around with hot sauce in my purse. 
ah, that's racist. It's racist to judge somebody based on what their skin color is, but it's the, um, it's some of the people who accuse others of racism that are wanting colleges to admit so many percentage of people of this skin color instead of telling colleges admit the best and brightest um, without looking at their skin color, no matter what their skin color is. <clears throat> and, yep, so that's, oh yeah, and every time there's another example of racism being, um, you know, misused, we're, we're told that there's this racial oppression that every time a black person's pulled over by a cop is because of their race and um, all this stuff. And no, anytime police do misbehave because of race, they get fired and prosecuted depending on how far they went. <clears throat> but when you look more deeply into some of these stories, where there is accused racism by a police officer, instead of finding racism, you find a police officer with broken facial bones because the guy was trying to kill him. <clears throat> broken racial, uh, broken facial bones, um, the bullet entry and exit holes match up with somebody running at the police officer, not running away, and... That's Michael Brown in Ferguson. And that's, uh, there's the specifics on that one. And all the time. Oh, black guy got... It was racist. No, you look into the details. No, this black guy had a gun in his hand. This black guy punched a cop. This black guy did that. This black guy did that. But when there has been a questionable use of force by police, there are consequences for the police officer. In Ohio, fairly recently... There was a man who was killed in his car. The police officer was fired, and I haven't been following that story very closely. Um, it didn't get a lot of publicity. It didn't get a lot of publicity because the main media, uh, the major media outlets, the traditional media outlets, are a pack of liars and uh, a de facto arm of the Democrat Party, and they're not going to make a lot of news about a story that disproves the lies that they like to put out. So this police officer in Ohio was definitely fired, and there probably were charges filed, but it's not been widely reported. In South Carolina a couple years ago, a black man was shot to death by a police officer, and that police officer was charged with murder. Um, they just had a, a result to that trial recently. It was a hung jury. There was one juror who had reasonable doubt. But there was a dead man, and there were charges filed because there's not a systemic racism. There's not um, racism by the police that's approved by the leadership of the United States of America. And one reason this word racism gets uh, is such ridiculous, another example of how ridiculous this racism is, is when we have a black president and a black attorney general they were still accused of having racism and uh, a uh, racism, you know, pervading everything. Um, in one city recently, within this year, where a black man who wouldn't put down a gun was shot to death by the police, <clears throat> there was a black mayor and a black chief of police uh, and a black police officer that did the shooting. Everyone there was black, and some people expect us to believe that there was some racism involved when a black man with two black bosses shoots another black man. <clears throat> so, thank you for listening to my rant. Anybody with working brain cells in the United States of America nowadays, when they hear the accusation of racism, is skeptical. Because that word has been overused and misused to the point where it's probably not um, it's probably not racism when you hear the accusation of racism made <clears throat> and oh yeah, and one other thing in some uh, predominantly minority neighborhoods um, in big cities 
There have been Democrat mayors in those cities for 40 or 60 years. <clears throat> so all those problems in those cities are because of it. There's been a Democrat mayor. You can't blame a Republican in those cities when things are going wrong. But we're still somehow supposed to believe Republican racism is making life miserable in a city which has a Democrat mayor and has had a Democrat mayor for decades. <clears throat> Thank you. You have a good day. <clears throat>